over in Kalkaska County, Michigan, and uh, we got contacted by one of the DNR fire bosses and uh, some other guys that are <clears throat> working on the snowmobile trails. And we got a little bit of a beaver job to do. They asked me if I'd come in here and trap these, and it's back in here a ways, that's for sure. Uh, we've been setting some traps, but I wanted to do something today. I wanted to show you how I set up and what I'm looking for when I'm doing it. You kind of hear the water running in the background. I hope the background noise isn't too bad for you. So I'm going to kind of walk you through a couple of little sets that I've gotten here, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, first one I've got right here is I got a TS-85 right there. You kind of see it. Now, I don't normally set the, the tab, the latch, towards the water, but yeah, that's the way it's set up. I think it'll be okay. Uh, but I want you to look in here. See all those little white things? Hey, you can see I can see them in the video. There's my drowner right out there. He'll go to the end of that cable, and he'll drown. But you know what those little white things are? That's beaver poop. Yeah, that's beaver poop. All those white little dots. So this is our active crossover. And what I did is just give a little something extra, extra. Because I put a little caster there that I had. So I wanted some of the beavers that I've caught. But also, you kind of see where they've been crossing down through here. And I put a 330 down in the bottom. So... That doesn't get them, which that should, or if there's one coming up through there smelling this, that will get them. All right, now, and you can see, I think zoom in there, there's the lodge right there. You can see it. Um, I don't have my hip weight or my chest waders, so I'm going to go ahead and come back here tomorrow with some conibears to sit on that. But here's a little run. Uh, actually, I put a Duke 330 on an H frame and come up here to this caster mount set. You can see the caster right there. So... We're gonna see how that one works as well. So we got several different sets today, but I don't have anything on the lodge out there. It's just about waist deep, the water is, so it's not too bad. All right, so this is one of the Thank other you. ones that I've got. Down there's another 330. We're coming up this, this slide, crossover here. And I'm gonna go get another TS-85 and put in here. And uh, we'll get them done through there. Now, the other one I had, this one here I'm gonna try. It's a caster mount set. <clears throat> and I'm gonna try to get over here and keep from falling. So, you can see it right there. There's the caster mound, there's the caster lure, there's the trap. That should get me a good back foot catch. And I come out there to the end of that and go out here to the drowner and drown. Now, so I put some sticks right in here to kind of guide him. Keep him crossing over and he should go right into that trap. He should smell that and go right in. But I want you to see all the flooding. This is what these beaver are doing. So this water is getting so high up in here that it's actually flooding the snowmobile trail. So we're gonna we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully we'll have some tomorrow. Uh, it's Saturday. It's like just the first part of December of 2017. So we'll get this uh, rest of this set put in, and uh, we'll get back tomorrow and we'll see what we got in our catch. Consummate Outdoorsman. We'll catch you tomorrow. Hey guys, we're, we're back here. Uh, we're back out here in Kalkaska County. Got my good friend with me, Eric. Say hi, Eric. Hey, Welcome how you to, doing? This is YouTube. Sorry. So we just come up on our set and we've already got one. Yeah, we got on our TS-85 foothold. And uh, remember we put this caster mound set right here. And we got tail up, baby. We love seeing tails up. So we're going to get him out of there and uh, took him all the way to the bottom of the drowner. So we're good to go. But see, you can see the ice is already starting to form on this. And it's crazy because it wasn't that cold. So uh, we'll get him out of there. I'm going to pause this, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. So we're walking down our, our trail here. And I got a 330 over to your left right there. Don't have anything in that one. Don't see anything in that, do you, Eric? Yep. You kind of see that. That's the run down through there. This is Eric's first time running a trap line, beaver line. He runs some traps. So I don't see any work that they're doing, so the water's still flowing like it was. So we'll go ahead and go on down and had another 330 set right there. Nothing in that one. So one out of three so far. And we had, uh, had a drowner set up there. So uh, we'll see what happens there. Stand by. All right, guys. Well, we're back again. We got another caster mound set. It looks like another great big beaver. 
and I can get up here on the mound. See? So I put these guide sticks right here. Oops. Almost fell. That's crazy. So I put these guide sticks and just make them come up to this caster. So right there's the caster that I, it's my own caster. And then you can see him right there. So good back foot catch on it. Got him drowned. So we got two out of four so far and we've got one more set to come check and then we'll get them all out and we'll get a video of all put together we'll put them all back all right see you in a minute all right gang well this one here didn't set it kind of iced in on me a little bit but i don't see any bubbles i got a couple of bubbles but no trail at all so 330 and i'll do it i'll break that ice up so it'll keep it off the trap but it's hoping you come into that one that was kind of a just a hail mary shot on this one all right guys well it's cosmic outdoorsman here with good friend eric we're uh, checking our beaver line, first time check. So we got two out of five traps, six traps. So, hey, it's a good day. We'll get them skinned. We'll get a picture of the two together. And uh, just get out in the woods, get stuff done. Hey, stay classy. Love you guys.